Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Ledger has just released new firmware updates for the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks. So I want to walk you through this process again. A lot of people are uh, terrified and mystified about firmware updates. They're worried something's going to go wrong and they're going to lose their crypto. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, as long as you have your seed phrase written down and stored in a safe location and you know exactly where it is, uh, there is no way you're going to lose any crypto due to a firmware update. It's a pretty quick and easy process, so I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Um, I did this during my live stream on Saturday, so I'm just going to edit down that one little section and show you the steps to get that firmware updated. And the stacks is exactly the same process. The, the firmware version is slightly different, uh, but the process is exactly the same. So sit back, relax. I'll show you how to get that firmware updated. I just wanted to go through this process with you guys. Uh, we've got a, it's asking me to do a firmware update. So um, I'm going to, let's go over to this. We'll go ahead and connect my device, first of all. all right, and I do need to enter my PIN. So uh, once you've entered your PIN, you want to just keep it at the uh, home screen, right? You're not going into any um, apps, right? So, and then uh, we go over here to... Uh, Go to the My Ledger section, which is uh, this little section down here. You can see it's got uh, a little purple dot, which means there's an update available. All right? It's asking me to allow the secure connection. This is normal. Well, yes, allow the secure connection. All right. And then what's it going to do? Okay, it's going to load up. All right. And now it's saying uh, oh, OS update available, right? So there's my device. Uh, there's my current firmware. Uh, it just passed the genuine check. We know it's a genuine device. These are all the apps I have on my device. And uh, we'll say update firmware. Um, it's got a bunch of gobbledygook here. Um, I'm in the way. Yeah, there's a button down there. So we'll uh, hit that button. And then we've got this thing going on here. It's like... Uh, all right, it's backing up my screen lock picture that I had on there. And uh, once it's done with that, oh, it's transferring the update to my device. So we'll just allow that to happen. I don't know, this might take too long. I, I don't like to do this live that much. Um, I mean, sometimes there, it is just a point one update, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, but so, but let's do it. I know people are just terrified of updating their firmware. Um, you should be uh, terrified of not updating your firmware. Uh, there's a back and forth um, when it comes to firmware updates. Uh, some wallets claim that not being updatable is a security feature, uh, not a bug. And then uh, most uh, crypto hardware wallets on the market uh, are updatable. That way, if there's a flaw discovered, it can be fixed and updated. Um, or if there's new functionality um, or new uh, bug fixes or anything like that. Um, um, it, I mean, just think about if you had an iPhone, um, would you want to buy a non-updatable iPhone uh, that would force you to buy a new phone every few months because of the new stuff that's coming out? Or would you like to have an iPhone that's updatable and can accommodate all of the new OS upgrades over the three or four years that you own your phone? Think about it in those terms. All right, now it wants me to go ahead and install the firmware update. We'll hit install there. Right, you can see that it's uh, progress over here. Let me get out of the way a little more here. There's progress on the in Ledger Live. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. Uh, and there's progress on my, my device. And there we go. Um, it's coming in and out. Okay, there, there it goes. It's updating the OS. Kind of flashy there. 
Doesn't look like that's going to take very long. And boom, there. Now, this is where most people go awry. Uh, they think that the update is over, uh, but it's not quite over. Um, what it wants to do now is reinstall all the apps, but you need to unlock your device. So people get to this point and they see the uh, pin entry and they think, oh, I'm done. So they just disconnect it. Well, it's not quite done yet. So let's enter our pin. All right, and now uh, it wants to load the picture back that I had on there before. So let's see if that works. That would be cool. That's a picture of my son and daughter um, in New York. Um, we were at the new. We we're on the New Jersey side. We were going to the ferry to visit the Statue of Liberty from the New Jersey side because they have car parking on that side. The Manhattan one doesn't. Um, and from the New Jersey side, we could see Manhattan. So they took their picture there. It's pretty cool. It's a nice picture. Uh, there we go. Lock screen is set. All right. And then now it should be asking if it want if I, yeah. See, this is the step that a lot of people miss. You need to restore all of your apps. All right. So uh, hit restore apps. And now it will restore all of your apps. Um, and this could take a while, so I'll go back to the other screen. Uh, we need to allow the secure connection again. And uh, it's going to start uh, reinstalling all the apps. All right, if we go over here, you can see um, that there are a bunch of apps in the queue. And it's going to start, see, this is all blank now. This is the problem that a lot of people have uh, when they're running the firmware update is they get to that point where it uh, it's asking for the pin for the device and they think it's over. And so they just disconnect the device or they think they're done. And then there are no apps on their device. And uh, so when they don't see any apps on their device, they think their crypto is gone and they freak out. I get so many people that say, I just ran the firmware update and all my crypto is gone. <laughs> and I used to think, what happened? You know, your wallets got emptied out in Ledger Live. No, uh, what happened was uh, you ran the firmware update. It's, it, it wiped all of your apps off and then it was going to reinstall them for you, but then you yanked your device out in the middle of the firmware update process. And so now you have to reinstall the apps manually, which is not a big deal. Your crypto is not gone. Um, all you have to do is reinstall the apps yourself. Um, pretty easy. Um, you, none of your accounts in Ledger Live are gone. Um, you can just go into your portfolio and see your balances are still there. So all you really need to do is just reinstall your apps on your device and you're good to go. I'm done with this firmware update. Yeah, so uh, now I can safely disconnect my... Um, and you can see all of... The, well, now you can't see. Let's, there we go. All right, so you can see all the apps are back on there the way they should be automatically during the process.